return, which that's one of the signs, and sees people protest. Now go to James chapter 3, verse 13 through 18. Okay? Now you got to understand, these people that's protesting, all right, that's not men of the Lord. Their whole mindset is of the world, man. And we're going to show it. Okay? These Occupy movement, that's why that shit got shut down here in Charlotte, man. All right? Because they, they, they're not of the Lord. And we told them that when they bucked up against us. James 3 and 13, read down to the end. James chapter 3, verse 13. Uh -huh. Who is a wise man and endureth with knowledge among you? Yeah. Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. That's right. That word conversation right there means manner of behavior or conduct. So if, if, if you got wisdom, meaning you got knowledge of the scriptures, and you applying it, it should be shown through your, your manner, your conduct, and your behavior. Okay? Keep reading. Satan in the mix. But if ye be bitter, envying, and strife in your hearts. These people that's of the world, that's out here protesting, they're bitter, they're envying. That's all that whole Occupy movement thing was about, bitterness and envying. They envy in the 1%. And I thought that the, uh, that the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the, and the rest of these elite banking families didn't want to share the wealth with their lower level uh, brother. That's not, that's not of our concern. That's why you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we told you not to be a part of no Occupy movement. That the Lord was going to destroy them occupiers, man. And we told them they was going to be deemed terrorists before it came out. And now they deemed terrorists. That's why you don't see them in Charlotte no more. Okay? Because all that came to naught. Glory, glory not and lie not against the truth. Because they was lying against the truth. We try to break it down to them that what they doing is going to lead to their destruction. That what they was doing is fulfilling prophecy. But if our people is amongst them, it's going to lead to their destruction. So what do they do? They lied against the truth. Oh, that's not the truth. We should all be one people. That's their whole thing. We should fight against the uh, 1% and try to re rebuild America. When the scriptures say this place is destined for destruction, so they lied against the truth and their glory. Keep reading. That's why they, they came to not, man. This wisdom descendeth not from above, uh -huh. but it's earthly. Earthly. That's of the world. Keep reading. Sensual. Sensual. Carnal. Another word for sensual is carnal. Keep reading. Devilish. And devilish. The people got spirits on them, man. Okay? Because when you look that word up, devilish, it means that uh, it, it derives from a demonic presence. Which kind of makes sense because we, we, we discern that that whole occupied thing had to be set up by the elite banking families. Okay? To bring forth more policy against protesters. All right? Because what happened? They was ghosts here in Charlotte, and then they came out, what, May 1st? They had that big protest down there in front of Bank of America. They got video footage of it. Then they came out here when the president was uh, down here. They got video footage. They tried to deem this place uh, the, the, the Wall Street of the South. Well, where's your Wall Street of the South? They're not here. Why is that? Because they're not, that was another Lord. Those whole people's motives was earthly, sensual, and devilish, man. Keep reading. Satan. For where envy and strife is, yep. there is confusion in every work of evil. And you couldn't tell me it was nothing but confusion amongst them occupied movements. Okay? They didn't have no leader. They didn't want to set up a leader. If they had a leader, he had a certain agenda. This person had a certain agenda they wanted to push. The other person wasn't with that, but they was like, cool, we'll, we'll agree to discipline. That's confusion. We're preaching the word, man. We highlighting that we really call Jesus Christ. He said that it'll be commotions. All right, prior to his coming. And when you look that word up, that's talking about these protesters that you see in rebellions against the governments all around the world, even here in America. So if you, if you say you believe in the Lord, all right, you should take heed to that and know that he's his coming is coming 
The second coming is coming up, and if you have these people on your father's side, you go back to them on your father's side, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you need to get your act right, man. Because who you really call Jesus Christ, he gonna be putting people to death, man. Okay? That's what we out here, we warning you. Yeah. All right? Key reader. Well, James chapter three, verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first, pure. Pure, that's the scriptures. It's pure. The scriptures can't be, uh, 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 what's the word? They can't be uh, defiled. The only, the only thing that people defile is their, uh, their uh, interpretations of the scriptures. The scriptures say there's no private interpretation, so the scriptures is pure. Okay, keep reading. Then peaceable. And peaceable. Every time we come out, even though we just had Satan right around, around us twice with their bites, they know we ain't gonna do nothing to these people. Cause all we come out here is to peacefully preach the downfall of this wicked ass place. Hopefully wake up a Jake or inform him, or plant the seed or water it, and then go home. We ain't about no fight or, or, or killing people. Cause it ain't that season yet. We fishing, so it's peaceful. But you can't say that about them Occupy movements. They up there going heads up with the cops. They got, uh, uh, help me out. They got the shields, they got the batons, they got the tear gas. One dude got his skull cracked with, a, with one of them gas containers because he was trying to go against the cops. We ain't gonna do that. If they ask us to move, we'll move somewhere else. And they ask us, hey man, kind of, you know, check your language. We'll check our language. We ain't gonna resist them. That's how you know that whole thing was out of order, man. Keep reading. Uh, gentle and easy to be interpreted. And treated. And treated. Uh -huh. Full of mercy and good fruits. Yep. Without partial, partiality. Without hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, that's right. Without partiality. So we don't partially break it down. We fully break it down. And ain't no hypocrisy up here, man. We ain't no actors, man. Okay, we about this. We ain't like these occupiers, man. Or these other forms of protesters like the NRA, the Tea Party, uh, the, the left wing, right wing, and any other of these uh, so-called groups that, that's trying to protest and stuff. All right? We ain't like them, man. Because they can get buy it off. That's where that hypocrisy come in. They can get sold out. We ain't gonna sell out, okay? Unlike other Israelite groups, all right, go to Luke chapter 21. No, go to first Corinthians 14 verse 33 real quick. To back up that point about disorder amongst the camps, man. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33. 33. Yep. For the most high, it's not an art author of confusion but of peace yeah we about peace man so the lord ain't about no confusion like these these uh people that you see protesting because amongst them is evil is evil works and confusion and it's all fueled by bitter envy and strife and the fact is like like you had them people over there in palestine they was protesting for uh palestine the palestinians which them, them arabs the ishmaelites they want a uh, part of the land they want to be recognized as a state so they protest then they got recognized in the u.n but you know what them amalekites are still building in, uh, in palestine they ain't respecting that the united states ain't respecting that and what was that all fueled off of bitter envy and strife okay just like the rest of these protesters out here man. all right but there's peace amongst the saints of the, of the churches. All right, now go to, cause we all in agreement. Go to Luke. Oh, better yet, go to James 1 and 8. James chapter one, verse eight. Yep. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And those people that's that's doing that, they're all unstable, man. Hell, these people even in these people in the churches are unstable because they're double-minded. 
I mean, if you talk to anybody that's recently go to church and stuff, they're a bunch of hypocrites, man.